Hey, my friends, welcome back to the farm on this beautiful Nebraska day. We've got some shop work we want to do today, so we thought we'd bring you along and show you what you what we're doing. Got some repairs to do and got some other stuff to do I've been wanting to do for a while, so stick around. So we got this old decorative windmill here. Uh, it's been laying around for quite some time. We found this out in the weeds behind the uh, grain bin when it used to be out here inside of the shop. There was a bunch of old metal junk back there that we got rid of. But this was laying face down in the weeds. It was bent up a little bit. I've uh, kind of bent it back in place. But it's a neat old windmill. They used to make the old wooden windmills this style with this type of vein. They were really neat. But this one's missing a base, and it's missing the tail fin back here. And we've been wanting to move it out here by the garden. When I placed this post out here for the hose, I had in mind to put the windmill up there. So we're going to make a, make a base that will go up there on top that will hold our windmill. And it will be a cool little feature out here in our garden. So the top of that pole out there is five inches, so we're going to cut about a five inch square out of this piece of old piece of sheet metal that I got here. It's good heavy gauge stuff, probably three sixteenths. So we'll cut out this square first, and then I've got an old piece of rebar that we're going to use. I've got a piece of uh, half inch pipe that's going to go over our stem here, and we'll start putting this thing together. Now we need to drill some mounting holes in our base plate. We're going to go with four holes because we're going to be welding some rebar off these corners so we don't want to put the holes in the corners. Got our mounting plate done. Now we need to cut our pieces of rebar. Figure out how long we're going to cut those. We're going to cut four equal pieces because we're going to kind of build a little like a windmill derrick on here, a little miniature one. And then uh, this piece of pipe will sit on top in between those pieces of rebar. And I need to leave enough space underneath because our little shaft here gets a cotter pin to hold this thing on to the tower that we're going to build. Got our four pieces cut. One of them's got a slight little bend in it, so we'll straighten that out real quick. Now we'll bring these over to the wire wheel. We're going to clean them up real good so they weld okay. So our little pipe has some burrs on it. We'll take our rat tail file, clean those burrs off so it spins real easy on the shaft for the windmill. all our burrs off it spins real well so let's start putting our base plate together
All right, we got it all tacked together. We've got our top piece as straight as we can eyeball it. Looks pretty good in all directions. So we'll get her welded up. Okay, we got our little windmill tower made. It's come out pretty nice. Let's see if it fits on the windmill. All right, fits on the windmill nice. So we're gonna get our base mounted out on the post and then we'll finish working on our windmill. We need to make a tail fin up here. Got her mounted within the bubble. Now we can get started on the tail fin here. It's got a piece of the old one still here that uh, we'll take these screws out, take this piece off. Now we've, for the material, we've got lots of sheet metal options here in the shop. Traditionally, they're galvanized for a windmill, but because this windmill has uh, so much good patina on it, I think all that shiny metal would detract from what we got going on here. Now I have some rusty sheet metal here it's already kind of the right uh, shape and everything. I think we could cut this end off here, drill a couple holes in it to match our holes here where our old one went and put it on there. So I think that's what we're going to use. Okay, we have our tail fin mounted. Now we need to balance our windmill. Right now we're a little heavy on the tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut little sections off of this tail, making it shorter and shorter until we're balanced on this pivot point or near balanced. Alright, we cut a good portion of the tail off. It's still just a tad tail heavy, but not too bad. So we're going to give this a try. I need to uh, put some grease in our head here and we'll put some grease on our shaft and then we'll get a half inch washer and a cotter key to hold it in. There she blows folks. I don't know how many years it's been since this windmill has worked. We got a good day to work it today. Got it all greased up. Gave it a new life. All right, that was a fun project, but that's not all we're doing. We've got another one we're going to do. We have this old weather vane that we picked up at Junk Jaunt, I believe, this last year. It already has a post. It's got a pheasant up here. It's got north, south, east, and west, but it does not have a base. So we're going to create a base for this, and we have another post out there that this can go on. We're missing a screw right here that we'll replace, and then we'll make a base for this. Got a screw in our pheasant, and if on further inspection, this thing is loose, ready to fall off. So we're going to need to get some weld on here. All right, we got a little bead on there. It's solid again. So now we need to make a base. I have another piece of the metal we use for the other one. So I'll just make one more. Now for this base, that post out there is four inches in diameter. So we're going to use a four inch triangle and we'll drill a hole in each corner for mounting and then we'll weld our upright right in the middle. We've got our triangle cut out. We've got our mounting holes cut in it. We wire wheeled the bottom of this post so we can get a good weld on that. So we'll use our square. We'll make that as square as we can. We'll get that welded on. Alrighty then. Let's go mount this baby. Got her all connected. Got her mounted on the pole. We had to mount this one with a compass so we knew where north was. So we just gotta put the vein on it now. There we go. And the pheasant acts as the vein. So when the wind blows, it'll turn that, and then you can see where the wind is blowing from. There you go. The wind is blowing from the southeast. Sweet. 
I like it. Well, there's two projects done. I think we're going to continue on with the wind theme. We have another project that's been needing to be done for a long time. Now, this is our wind chime tree here. It used to be a clothesline pole. The other one's over there laying up against the fence. But we had all of our wind chimes hanging on this and had a real beautiful sound while we're out here in the grain bin. But a big branch blew out of this tree and that big storm we had last year where we got all the hail came down and hit our crossbar and bent it. So we need to fix this today. I need to straighten this crossbar. Now normally I would just bring like the tractor over here and pick up on that and straighten it, but I think we'd end up pulling our post out of the ground. So probably going to have to unbolt that, take it to the shop and straighten it and then bring it back out. And then we got some wind chimes to repair. Old square head bolt. You know this thing's been here a while. We'll get rid of this old piece of rain gauge or whatever this is. Got a square head nut to take off up here. All right, we got it clamped to the table here. I'm going to try at first a real big crescent wrench on the end to try to twist this thing around. But uh, if it's a little too rigid, we might have to put some heat on it. Well, helped a little bit, but I think we're going to have to try some hammer persuasion now. Maybe we'll use the big anvil here. Much better than it was. Still got just a little tweak down here on the end to straighten out, but I think we can get it. Well, that's why I need a heavier welding table. If I had a table that would stay on the ground, I could pull that down far enough. I've got to get these two holes to line up because the bolt goes through both of those. So this end needs to go down. I can't pound on it anymore on the anvil because of these straps on here are in the way. But we did a pretty good job on the anvil. I just need to find something heavy enough to bend this. Well, I don't think I'll be able to pick up the front of this wagon, but we'll see. Well, I believe we got it close enough to where I can bend it around and get it through the bolts. I'll put it back on the anvil and straighten this little part right here. Well, that's what success looks like. Cool deal. Let's uh, look after our wind chime, see what we got to fix. We had three wind chimes survive the carnage with just a couple minor adjustments. I was glad I didn't have to fix this one. This is made out of pipes from my grandpa's dairy. Let's see. If, let's take a look at the other ones. A well, pleasant surprise. This one just needs a new hanger on top, and that's easy. Made a new hanger out of some heavy gauge wire. Back in business. Well, this one here is going to need major surgery. It uh, went catastrophic. Our disc is busted, so this is six inches across. We'll make it, have to make a new six inch disc. We'll probably do it out of metal. And then I have to take all this loose. I think we still have all the chains and all the parts here, so it shouldn't be too bad once we get the new disc made. Got it mostly blown apart here. These five pipes here all had their chains still attached. These three did not. Now all that is is just some wire on the inside bent in there just to hang the pipe through the two holes. So we're going to make those little hangers for these three out of some wire. It's always good to have some wire laying around. 
make something similar to that. Then you got to squeeze it together, put it in the pipe, get those arms through the holes, and then pry it back out, and then you got it. Just like that, got one more to make. Okay, we got it all tore apart. Has a little tiny chain down here on this uh, the wind catcher thing down here. We're going to get rid of that little tiny stuff, and then we have some to replace it with. So, got to make a six inch disc, so we're going to do that. Our replacement ring, we have a six inch piece of aluminum, so I'm thinking about using this. It's nice and lightweight, plenty sturdy enough. So, we'll just cut a circle out of it and drill some holes. So, to get a six inch circle, we just set our scribe compass at three inches, put it right in the middle, and go around, scribe it. And we had a perfect circle. The old circle is not so perfect, it's kind of wobbly looking. Now because this is aluminum, we can cut it with our wood blade on the bandsaw. You just want to keep it lubricated so the teeth doesn't clog up with the aluminum. Alright, we trued up our disc with our sander. So our holes in this disc look to be about a half an inch from the edge. So we're going to set our scribe compass on, instead of three inches, we're going to do it two and a half. And then that will give us a half inch from the edge and we'll just go around that way. All of our holes will be on the same plane. Now we've got eight pipes, so that's easy measurement because all you got to do is put square lines across here, do one at every intersection, and then halfway in between each one of those, and you've got eight. Otherwise, you'd have to do a lot of math. Got our disc all laid out, got all the holes center punch. We're going to go over on the drill press and drill them out. Now when you're making a wind chime, you don't have to go buy eye hooks and all that. Just drill your hole just big enough for whatever heavy gauge wire you have. And then just do a loop that sticks through. So you have a loop on both sides and then all you got to do is open up the chain with a couple pairs of pliers and then just hook that right in there. Okay, we got our hanger. So now we can start attaching our tubes. Got all of our tubes hung. Took a minute to find the right place for all of them to make it level. But eventually we got it. So now we need to hang the dinger and the wind catcher in the middle. I keep a collection of different size chain. I just got it in this old coffee can. I think we're going to go with this stuff right here. There we go. Ready to hang back up. Okay folks, we are back in the wind chime business. Got all of them fixed. Love listening to these sitting out here in the grain bin. And this wouldn't be a wind theme video without showing great granddaddy of them all. It's the one we're most proud of. Love our windmill. All right, my friends, I think we're going to wrap it up right there. Time to uh, go in, get cleaned up, and settle in for supper. Kelly's home today, so we'll have a good visit with her. She brought me lunch out twice today. Nice. So... Hope you enjoyed our little project today, our fun-filled day of projects. Had fun doing all those. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you guys. Come back and see us here at Mark Kelly Farm.